<laughs> nope. I can hear my stomach starting to Wait, gurgle. That is that's really fine. good at this. You're fine. Hello, darling. Hey. Happy Tuesday. Yeah. This is the Witch's Magic Murder and Mystery Podcast. Podcast. I'm Kara. I'm Megan. Hey, yo. So today, I put this up on Instagram for a vote. Mm-hmm. And so I'm doing what you guys voted on. Perfect. At the end of 2021, we did a witchy episode where we talked about setting intentions for the new yeah. year. And it was super well received. And I really love you guys People for that. loved it. If you're on the Patreon, you get like a witchy blog post every month focusing yep. on different topics. I try to make it relevant. Listen, Megan is the month. best writer. I'm not. So I just think a lot. <laughs> but I also books. just enjoy. I like writing. Mm-hmm. It makes me happy. And I like researching all the different witchy mm-hmm. things. Today, I'm going to do another quick witchy episode. And this time, we're talking about Beltane. Mm. So if you look at the Wheel of the Year, uh-huh. um, that's the cycle of seasons marked by the chief solar events, solstices uh-huh. and equinoxes. And the midpoints between them. So you'll see that we celebrated Ostera, the spring equinox, yeah. on March 20th. And we talked about that on the Patreon. If you think Ostera, the word, sounds similar to the word Easter, you're not wrong. Right. Ostera celebrates the coming of spring and the promise of new beginnings. Ostera is all about planting the seeds for what we hope to accomplish later. Mm-hmm. Next up is Beltane, which you may know as May Day, May 1st. I love a good Mayday pie. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh, yes. Beltane falls on the high point of springtime when the wheel of the year turns fully from winter to summer. So the thing about Ostera, it is celebrated on the day that light officially, like daylight officially becomes longer than darkness. Mm -hmm. It takes over. And so I love that. And I also love how Beltane is at the point in the year when it turns fully from winter to summer. Like I love looking at all these things Uh and celebrating them. So- This is the time to reconnect with nature and start working with those seeds that we planted literally and or figuratively for Ostera. Here's a little history on Beltane and what it represents. You're going to love this. Can't wait. Okay. Flora, the goddess of spring, Uh she's the manifestation of growth and renewal. The young oak king falls in love with her and they become the May queen and the May king, representing the union of earth and sky. I love it. I know. In ancient lore... The two lovers are separated all winter long, and they finally get to reunite on Beltane when all of nature comes alive to celebrate their love. Oh. So as the Goddess and Green Man website puts it, this is a holiday of union, a celebration of the divine balance in the union of masculine and feminine. Having reached maturity through their long separation, Lord and Lady now come together as one. I just love it. It's, all, it's like a little yeah, love story. It's so sweet. So they've been separated all winter and they come together and, and the there's world, just like, a huge flourishes. celebration. Yeah. Oh. So Beltane is highly associated with fertility. Oh, okay. You could take that literally like it's time to get to work making babies. Okay. You can just have your partner send us a thank you note later. Yeah, you're welcome. But also just think of it as a time to make things, period. Yeah. Just make it grow, make it happen. Yes. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're going to like snap your fingers and have a finished right, project. Right. But it does mean that Beltane is the perfect time to get started. Yeah, so, start on a project or whatever. Right. Yeah. If you've been looking for a sign to just begin, mm-hmm. this is it. Ostera is about preparing to do a thing. Right. And Beltane is about doing it. Right. You know, sometimes getting started is like the worst. It, yeah. Like, it's the hardest yeah. part. Like you have everything ready. You and got you your know, plan. You Yeah. But I'll do that. And I'll be ready. And then it's still like, I can't, I can't do this. Yeah. Like you have too much anxiety. I don't even know yeah. why. Right. But if anything, use Beltane as like a good excuse to be yeah. like, I should do this now. Like Heck everything yeah. is on my side here. So here's the thing. I have a whole lot of things I want to do. But if I make my to-do list insanely long and complex, I'm never going to reach the end right. of it. And right. it just becomes stressful. Yeah. So while Beltane comes with that energy that encourages us to do stuff, mm-hmm. your life isn't made out of checked boxes, you know? So right. You have to live in the moment. Be thankful for where you are right now. Be present for everything that you have and everything you are in this moment while also working on whatever you're hoping to create. Right. If you feel yourself getting overwhelmed by the idea of all the things you want to accomplish, Mm -hmm. just pick one thing. Right. You all heard piece by piece. Yeah. Like you don't have, don't make this stressful. No. You're in charge of what you do here, you know? It's like my to-do lists have to-do lists and there's like addendums to the to-do lists. And I know that that's an ADHD thing, but also it makes the tasks more attainable because you're making like a smaller piece that goes Mm -hmm. to that. And you're like, okay, I can check this off. And look, I'm now at that finishing point. Yeah. I put that in here too. Like if you have a really big thing, just break it into small pieces. So you've heard me say this before, but I'm going to say it a lot. 
we have to give ourselves opportunities to feel successful. Yeah. And that's what Kara's talking oh, about. Yeah. Like the big thing is too overwhelming. And the longer you go without finishing it, you feel like you're a failure. Right. If you just make small pieces, like you don't write a book, you right. write a page. Right. You know? And um, of course, I just equate everything to writing. But <laughs> yeah, no, but it makes sense. You got all this natural energy is not going to do you any good if you're just grinding yourself into the ground mm-hmm. or beating yourself up for not accomplishing enough. Right. This is supposed to be joyful and exciting yeah. and fulfilling. So pick one thing, mm-hmm. do it, be proud of yourself, and then do the next thing. Yeah. And just climb that ladder. Right. Yeah. And when it's time to rest, rest. <laughs> right. Your body and your mind need it. Life's short. Take and time to right live it. now, it's getting warmer. Go rest in the yes. sun. Yes. Beltane honors life. After all, so this should be don't forget to live your life while you're also working towards right. these goals. Yeah, be in the moment. Yeah, so that's the sort of thing to keep in mind for the season to mm-hmm. feel that energy and use it to your advantage. But what about May 1st, like the Beltane holiday? Here's a little history on that. Oh gosh, yeah, as well as some things that you might want to do to celebrate. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, you're gonna love this too. Okay, everything listen, I was doing, I was like, listen, this, this is so perfect because Willow's born on May 2nd, and this is all very fitting for her. Oh, like yeah. her little personality. Oh, yeah, you're gonna love this. You should at least talk to her about it. Yes. So the word Beltane in Celtic means bright fire. Oh. Bell refers to the Celtic god of light and fire. As such, fires are the traditional symbol of Beltane. Ooh. In ancient times, bonfires were lit to honor the sun and to nurture the future harvest. All other, I love this, all other fires in the community were put out. Uh And there was this one fire that was lit just for Beltane. Mm -hmm. And then there were a lot of traditions surrounding the fire. So people would jump over the fire to like cleanse and purify themselves. Young unmarried men would jump over the fire and wish for a wife. Oh, young unmarried women would jump over the fire to ensure their own fertility. So they're not running around slapping each other with animal skins. No, no, okay, no, okay. not this time. Not this time. <laughs> um, <laughs> couples would jump over the fire to pledge themselves to each oh. other. Cattle would be driven through the smoke of the fire in order to ensure their fertility and to protect oh. the herd from disease. I also saw it mentioned that they would have two fires and they would pass the cattle between the two for Ooh. the same effect. And then this is the part I love. When Beltane was over, mm-hmm. everyone would take a little bit of that fire back to their homes <gasps> and use it to start their own fires again. Oh my! Gosh. I just love that. I think that's, that's incredible. The thing, yeah. So, since Beltane celebrates love and union and beginnings, yeah. it was a popular time for weddings. Oh, and it still is among yeah. those who recognize the holiday. There's a practice called hand fasting, mm-hmm. which is basically a commitment ceremony. It used to be a thing where you'd go through the hand fasting ceremony, and that meant that you were together for a year and a day. After that, you could choose to stay together or part ways. And if you parted ways, it was like no harm, no foul. Right, yeah. Um, Because all you'd agree to Uh was a year and a day. So these days, there's no set rule for the length of the commitment, Mm -hmm. and it it can be for a lifetime. Right. Every couple's hand fasting ceremony looks different, like it was just unique depending on what the couple wanted. Uh But there were common elements that made it a hand fasting ceremony. Okay. You exchange vows and rings right. or some kind of trinket. It yeah. has to be a ring. And your hands are tied together in a figure eight <gasps> during the ceremony with a red cord or ribbon. Oh. This tying symbolizes that this couple has come together. And later in the ceremony, the ribbon is untied, which symbolizes that the couple is staying together of their own free will. Oh. What? And this is where the term tying the knot comes from. Oh. What? I know. Couples would also often jump the broomstick. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, where a broom is laid on the yes. floor, and it represents the threshold from your uh-huh. old life to a new one. Yep. So the couple You're holds sweeping hands, it away. Yeah. and they jump over the broom together to symbolize the beginning of their new mm-hmm. life together. Oh. I know. There's more. Oh, my gosh. Whether a couple did the hand-fasting thing uh-huh. or not, they could still participate in another Beltane tradition called a maying. Oh. As in, we're going to go a walk-in or something. This uh-huh. is like a maying. <laughs> Couples would go, go a bay. Yeah. That's it, exactly. And here we go, a bay. I don't think that's the words. Well, but, I'm enjoying to come to you. Wait. I took you, you whistle too. Love and joy come to you. Plus, yeah, yeah. Listen. Mm-hmm. Couples would go a maying by spending the night outside in fields or in the woods oh. where they would have sex. Oh. And then bring <laughs> Kara. <laughs> and then they bring back blossoms and some of the new growth in the nature to decorate their homes it was also a tradition later in the year of beltane babies being born nine months later which i love that of course i mean that sounds like a great day to me (laughs) 
<laughs> it's a very sexy holiday. Like yes. there's lots of this and you'll there's more. Another Beltane tradition Beltane tradition is the creation of May baskets. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> May baskets. Uh-huh. Which um women filled with flowers and other gifts to take some to someone in need. Okay. Like an elderly person or someone who's been sick or uh-huh. struggling in some ways. Okay. Oh, I skipped one. Oh, this is the one that I was most surprised by. Yeah. There's one May direction. I feel like we've all heard of this one. Right. The May pole. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. a, the pole in the field with yeah. the ribbons. And yeah. The, okay. So a pole is placed in a field with ribbons attached and women will each grab their own ribbon and dance around the pole in a way that like weaves oh, the yeah. ribbons into a specific mm-hmm. pattern. This is a fertility ritual. Oh. Those ribbons represent the female energies wrapping themselves around the male form of the pole. Oh. The pole is like a phallic symbol. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And then the women would often wear flowers in their hair or a flower crown on their head. I was talking to a friend of mine about this, and he was like, in elementary school, we used to do, <laughs> we, would, we would celebrate May Day, and we would do the May pole. And like, now this is cringy. Yeah. Now it's like, wow, they let us do this? What? Did they know? Yeah. I didn't know. No. So, okay. I doubt they knew. You should absolutely have Willow wear a flower crown. Oh, my gosh. Birthday. Yeah. So what are some ways that you personally might celebrate Beltane? Take a walk early in the morning on May 1st. Megan, we what? have a giant wood pile. If it's not raining and if it's somewhat dry, we should burn it on May 1st. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Come over with Because fire down. is, yeah. Yeah. Fire is like the main symbol. Yeah. There's an old May Day tradition of collecting flowers early in the morning that still had the morning dew on them. Because, you know, oh, like they think yeah. that morning mm-hmm. fresh dew has magical properties. So taking a walk early in the morning on May 1st uh-huh. would help honor the holiday. Right. Go outside. Everything is blooming and beautiful. Go out there and soak it in. Even better... Indulge your creative side and take a notebook or a sketchbook Mm -hmm. or your camera or whatever way is most comfortable for you to explore your own creativity and just spend some time outdoors. Yeah, Light a small fire in a fire pit, fireplace, or even, I mean, just light a candle and give thanks for your home or give thanks while you walk the entirety of your property. If you do light a flame, you can write your intentions for the season Mm -hmm. on a slip of paper and then burn the paper or a leaf. Yes, or a leaf. And you can also invite friends over and do all this together, which Mm -hmm. I think is a cool idea. Decorate your home with greenery. Obviously, this is a list of things. Right. Do Don't you, do it all. Any, you know, I mean, or you can you do can it do all, all yeah. or any or none or whatever. Just yeah. some ideas. Celebrate with flowers. Make a flower crown to wear. Mm-hmm. Make a flower basket and give it to someone you love. That whole thing about May baskets mm-hmm. and taking it to someone who, you know, yeah. needs it. That's a good idea to do yeah. anytime. Another thing about Beltane on the Wheel of the Year is the opposite holiday to Salmon, which is Halloween. And this means that Beltane, like Salmon, is a time when the veil between the physical and spiritual worlds is thin. Mm. So if you're into communicating with spirits, oh my gosh, Beltane you know is a good time crazy? for that. What? We were sitting at dinner the other night and Willow said, hey, mom, do you know what's interesting about right now? Like just out of the blue, just sitting at the dinner table. She said, the veil is thinner right now. I said, huh? <laughs> she said, you know, where I can communicate better with your grandparents. Listen, God made Willow cute because she's terrifying. She's If she wasn't, you'd be scared to death of her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the cutest little kid. She is the cutest. Yeah. God, I love her so But, you much. know, like, we're all sitting at dinner and we're all just, like, looking at her. And we're, I was like, that is very I believe every word that Oh, yeah, no. She, yeah. well, that one time she was, like, talking to us about how, like, Pluto and whatever and whatever were in line. And we were like, okay, baby. And then Google it. And it was right. Mm-hmm. Of like, course how it was. She, how would she know these things? She's a witch. Because, yes, she is an ancient soul. Yes. Yes, she is. Um, Anyways. <laughs> okay. So Beltane is a good time yes. if you are into the communicating with spirits. Yes. So once May 1st passes, mm-hmm. don't just think, well, Beltane is over. Right. You're still in the season of abundance and creation yeah. at the beginning. So right. carry that Beltane energy forward mm-hmm. and get to work on whatever lights you up. Yeah. That light, that fire is what Beltane is all about yeah. after all oh my gosh yeah so that's all that's amazing i love that so yeah. much i always think it's fun and i couldn't decide on my topic for the patreon blog yeah. post and i knew i was like well there's beltane coming up but i also put together this list yeah. of recommendations for things and so this way everybody gets or the patreon people yeah get both <laughs> yeah 
So that's amazing. Yeah, that's I it. That's I hope so you guys much. liked another little dose of witchiness, mm-hmm. a little break from the uh, yeah murder and mystery. Yeah. <laughs> I love it so. All much. right, we'll be back Friday with another episode. Yes, guys. We love you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>